Hey guys, what's up? This is Sparks, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Optifine and other mods. Now, I have been installing a lot of mods for 1.6.2, and a lot of people are asking me how to install Optifine. They're trying to put it in the mods folder, and it's not working. So I'm going to show you guys first how to install Forge, because Minecraft Forge is required for, I'd, I'd say probably 95% of mods require Forge to be installed. So if you guys check out the link in the description, um, it, just go to Forge. This is going to be the first thing you guys are going to need to download. Um, again, this is going to, I'm going to show you guys how to install Optifine with other mods. So you know, like I said, Minecraft Forge is going to be 95% of the time. It's going to be the required thing. So just uh, download Forge. You're going to want to come to the Forge website. You're always going to want to download the very top all downloads version. That is currently in 1.6.2 and is the very top version um, because it's always updated to the most recent version. So you're going to want to download that and click on the installer right there and save it onto your desktop and it should look just like that. Minecraft Forge installer. So the next thing you guys are actually going to need is Optifine. So just click on the link for Optifine. Um, you guys can go here and you guys can either decide to download the Ultra or the Standard. Now I recommend the Ultra because it has it's the has all the features for standard smooth multi-core AA highly configurable but if you do uh, I guess you could say if you do do this installation and you just can't figure it out and maybe you guys are having issues it might be your computer and the um, the thing with Optifine so if, if at the end of this video if if the ultra isn't working the, uh, the download for you guys if your minecraft is crashing just try the standard but i recommend to try the ultra it's what i've always used and it's, it's what i'm going to show you guys how to install it's exactly the same as standard it's just a different download so just click on the download right there and save it onto your desktop it'll say optifine right there so just make sure you guys download and save it there and whatever mod you guys are actually needing to play with now currently i have the tux's weapons um, mod on there um, if you go to the tux weapons mod page it just says put the tux weapons into the mods folder now most i'd say most of your mods nowadays are going to be put into the mods folder so i guess you can just look on the installation tab for each mod that you guys want yeah that'd be the best way to recommend um but the Tux weapon says just put it in the mods folder. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how to do that. But first, I'm going to show you guys how to install the Forge and Optifine. So once you guys have the Forge and Optifine downloaded, um, you're going to need to click on the Forge installer. Just double click on it and it's going to open up and it'll say just like this. Um, just push install client and push OK. And it says successfully installed client profile Forge for version Forge and whatever. Okay, so you just push OK. And for the next thing you guys are going to want to do is go to start and you want to click on the start right there. And you want to type in percent %appdat. Or TA, that's percent app data and another percent. And then you're going to see this roaming folder right here. You want to click on that roaming folder, and this is where you're going to see the dot Minecraft folder. You want to open that dot Minecraft folder, and this is where you see the assets, the config, and the libraries, the mods folder, and all the other stuff. Now, if you guys don't already have a mods folder um, in here, the way you get that mods folder is you, either you can add a new folder and just call it MODS all under caps mods folder, but I already have it, so I'm just going to delete that. Um, so just going to delete that. Um, it, so you guys can either do that or you guys can actually start up your Minecraft launcher and play it at least once and that will create, the forge will create the necessary files and stuff like that. So it will create the mods folder for you if you guys just don't want to add a new folder. So just make sure you have a mods folder all under caps just like that. And so for the next thing you're going to do, you want to scroll all the way down here to find the versions. You want to open that versions folder and you're going to see this Minecraft 1.6.2 forge right here. You want to open that forge thing there and you're going to see the 1.6.2 forge executable jar file all you're going to want to do is right click on this and open this with winrar now if you guys don't already have winrar installed there will be a link in the description so you guys can download and install winrar now i've had people complain and they say i don't want to buy winrar just simply download the free version of winrar it's very simple and it, and you guys can either use winrar or 7-zip or any kind of other file opener but i'm going to show you guys how to install winrar so just do that make sure you guys have the forge open with winrar um, so the next thing you're going to want to do is delete the meta inf folder. So just click on that meta inf and click delete on your keyboard. Are you sure you want to delete? Push yes. So just make sure you delete that meta inf. Uh, again, I'm not terribly uh, understanding of why we de delete that meta inf. All the, all, the only reason that I know is because if you don't, your Minecraft will get a black screen and it won't allow your mods to run. So just make sure you guys delete that meta inf folder. And the next thing you're going to want to do is go to your desktop again. Click on the Optifine folder. Move this aside and go back to your dot jar here where you guys opened up with Forge. Um, so all you have to do is simply open up your Optifine, 
with WinRAR. So just right click, select all, and drag all these files right into the Minecraft uh, Forge.jar that you guys opened. Push OK, and it will put all the files from Optifine into Forge. Now we're going to close that, and we're also going to close Forge. We're completely done with that. And if you guys want to, and we're not we're not done yet, so make sure you guys still pay attention to the video. And if you guys want to put, um, you know, in the mods folder, um, just make sure the folder is empty and drag whatever you guys, whatever mod that you guys want to download in there. And uh, you guys are done um, installing the mod itself and Optifine. But the next thing you guys are actually going to need to do, and this is again required, so just make sure you guys open up the 1.6 launcher, uh, go to Profile and click on Forge and Release, and go to Edit Profile, Use Version, and make sure you guys are selected on the 1.6.2 Forge um, or whatever version you guys are using. So just make sure you guys use that uh, Forge right there. And the next thing you guys are going to do is scroll down here to the J. VM arguments. So just select that and I'm going to show you guys where you guys need to get. If you go to Optifine, if you scroll all the way down um, either to the installation, installations, you click show. Um, we're going to scroll all the way down and we're going to see this. Select the checkbox JVM arguments. We're going to just collect all of that. And again, this will be in the description below. So if you guys don't want to go to the Optifine website, I will have um, this this little thing here. I um, just want to copy that, so just copy it. And okay, so we have everything. Um, again, that will be in the description below, so you guys can just copy it from there. So I copied it from there. Just go to the JVM arguments, select that, and if you c try to r right click on it, it's not going to pop up with anything. So if you guys push Control and V on your keyboard, so Control V, that will paste it. That's like the short key for pasting. So just make sure all that's in there and click Save Profile. And then you guys are ready to log in. So I'm going to log in real quick. Okay, so now once I have logged in, I'm going to push play. And hopefully this will work. Now I have, um, I did a lot of different things. I, I just simply went to the Optifine, um, actually web page, and bam, it works. Uh, I just read the installation tab and stuff like that. Um, so that's, that's basically how I install the mods. I read how they're installed from the mod web pages you know I, I guess it, it still can be confusing that's why I like to have a video so you're gonna see four mods loaded four mods active let's go to the mods folder here you're gonna see Optifine I mean you're also gonna see the Tux weapons because we put that in the mods folder Minecraft Forge Minecraft Forge loader click done I want to actually go to my single player and go to a new world and we're gonna open it up and see if Optifine is working um, as you can see I've got the Tux's um, stone and iron hammers down there I did test this out earlier um, so if I go to go to my options here, video settings, you're going to see that I do have the Optifine settings. So you're going to see that it's working, and a new version is available. <laughs> there you go, a new version of Optifine is available, B3. So thank you guys so much for watching, and hopefully this video helped you guys out. Um, if it's not, uh, you know, make sure, I mean, if you just really can't get, like I said, with the standard or the ultra, I'm not sure what the, differences maybe some computers can't handle it i'm not really sure just make sure you guys if you guys are having issues just download both of those and just make sure you guys really start over this tutorial and i show you exactly how to do it so i i i really hate this new installation and i know it's it's a lot harder um just you know read as much as you can and just follow this video as best as you can and just do it exactly like i did it and you should not have any issues so i hope again i hope this video helped you guys out and i'm terribly sorry if it doesn't um you know a, a like would be really awesome guys i really like likes on my videos and even more importantly i love comments i like reading your guys's comments and uh so that's always pretty cool and yeah thank you guys so much for watching